Battlefield <laughs> Upper <laughs> 60, sale. Hotel 550, and Suites 300. So let's do like a fly around, I guess. Um, this is what the front looks like. I'm sure you've seen the pictures already. We got two main elevators. Uh, if we head over this way, you can see we have an outside, uh, uh, what's that called again? <laughs> I, I, all I think of promenade. Concourse? Concourse, yes. Outside concourse. That's I mean, what we're that looking works for. Too. Uh, we'll fly the back. This is seating there. We'll check out later. And yeah, this is a little glimpse of the stadium. Uh, let's just go to what a normal person would do right after they get their tickets in the box office, right? So we will head to the very front of the stadium where the glass is. Right, we'll wait for our other fellow colleague here as you head this way down. All right, so you bought your tickets, right? You're in. You, as soon as you get in here, you take a straight left, and that is your team store. Because, you know, we're trying to sell our products, so we'll put everything in the front. Uh, all we sell here <laughs> is pretty green. much, uh, we sell the jerseys, we sell the pants, and we sell, uh, that's all we sell in this team store. Our secondary team store has other stuff. So, uh, let's just exit out this door right here. Uh, here is our 360 graffiti wall, right? It's basically all the cool things that have happened to this team in a picture. And it looks pretty cool, you can walk around it and everything. Uh, throughout this concourse, we have different food stands. This one being the meat stand, as you can say. Uh, we'll just fly all the way down to the next one. This one being the fish stand. Uh, very basic here. This is our center field. <laughs> very uh, basic. Only thing, right? We have a forest in our center field. No one else has that. So, yeah, get on our level here. Except. Next except thing the here. Rockies. All right, now <laughs> so <you can> stop. <laughs> now we have the watermelon stand. Oh. That's our watermelon stand. This is our tinier watermelon and beet stand. <laughs> now here is our uh, bathrooms. We'll head into the, uh, we'll do the ladies' bathrooms since it's better than the men's. All right, we have our own little uh, things you can go into. And there's your toilet. So, real cohesive. I had to use it real quick. Just finishing around here, we have the apple stand and the carrot stand and this is our secondary team store if we walk through here uh this is where we sell the different hats the different uh socks in fact and all this is game used right. and you basically walk through the team store see how we did that we, you walk through it so you have a better chance of spending money uh so we could go up to the next level but what we're gonna do is take the elevator way because that's the better way in which you head this way right uh, we'll speed walk through here. Go up, up, the day, up, up, up. And the first thing that you're going to see as you go up is the sweets. Now, so we're going to look at the sweets here. These sweets are pretty sweet. <laughs> see what I did there? The left is also the press box. But, like, check out this suite number 11. It's got a great view of everything. Uh, it's got stuff you need, like food and chest. Uh, let's go to the box office is where, or not the box office, the press box is where you take this tunnel of misery. All the way up, we'll just go to the, uh, quickest one, which is this one. And this is where the commentators do their thing, they talk about how badly we're losing, and stuff like that. Uh, so, that's all that's in the second level, which is why you take the elevator there. But, I'm just gonna fly out of here, pretend that wasn't a thing. Uh, I'm stuck. There we go. Let's go to the left side and show you the 360 outside, uh, what's it called? Concourse? Okay, yes. okay, so I've been on a cruise ship and the late, like, the deck is called Promenade, so I've, all I can think of is that. So, that's the other side to the suite, through that door. And we'll, you can keep going that way, but we'll go to the third level because this is where the 360 is. Alright, mm -hmm. so we're at the third level. So you can walk this entire way that way. You can see Dylan Stadium from here. Uh, but let's just go through this little door. I don't, I don't know where my partner went. I'm, I'm, I'm over on the third level. What are you doing? I'm towards one of the stands. I don't know where I'm at. I thought you were su you're supposed to follow me. <laughs> I know, I was trying to follow you, but you flew away and then you got lost. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm on the outside outer concourse. <laughs> Outside my stadium. Oh, okay. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, I know what that is. You're missing it for your video. You're missing all the good stuff. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> One second. Oh my. I did not think this whole time I was waiting for you. Where are you? you? Okay, come down <laughs> here. Okay, I didn't know what floor we were okay. I'm sorry. So, this it's is where the 360 fault. is, right? So you can walk around this entire way. But let's head down. And basically all around are the same exact stores. There's different things, so I'm not going to explain every single one. This is where you can enter your baseline seats, as you see. Nice views from here. Uh, mm -hmm. That's basically across the whole entire third level. So what we'll do is... Oh my, I'm stuck again. I can't fly. There we go. <laughs> Let's head down one level. I'm just flying down. I need to walk downstairs. <laughs> okay, we're at the second level. You can keep on going, and then you reach a wall, right? That's exactly where we don't want to go. I'm getting lost in my own stadium. That's how, uh, uh, <laughs> how this is. If I just go all the way back down to the beginning, this part's definitely going to be cut out of my video. <laughs> Alright, I'm back at the front of the stadium again. Let me show you how you enter the, like, this level here. As we head up, this is where your center seats are going to be. As you see, you can walk around the entire way, and I've lost my partner again. I'm right here. There he is. So you can walk that entire way, but let's head up the staircase to our other 360 thingamabobber. And you can walk up to the second level seating, which is what we'll do right now. This part just goes around, not to the outfield, but just the second part once again. Another good view. Uh, it's a 360 like I said already, so let me fly over. And over here is where you can access the lower level outfield seatings. Or no, this is the upper level outfield seatings. So you just go up the little stairs here and into your entrance, and now you're on the second level of the outfield, which is covered by an overhang, as you can see. Uh, we'll just go down to the bottom level, and that's the view from the bottom level here. The next coolest part has to be this hotel. So I'm not going to go up the stairs, because that's going to take too long. Uh, so what I'll do is just fly in through the roof. And this is the view from the hotel. Not really trying to watch a baseball game in the hotel, you kind of just got the hotel and now you're watching a baseball game. Uh, <laughs> we'll put it like that. Heading over to the left field seating, we have this nice view here. Kind of nice views along the whole way. And once again, it's 360, so you can walk down and walk across. Otherwise, I haven't done too many other things. I kind of just went for a structural type stadium, so... That's basically all like the little things you can see. I'll show you like around the actual part of the stadium. Is uh, it's like it's like an up. I don't know how you explain that. It's got the two tall elevators and it kind of bulges its way up. And you got the cool lights on the outside. Definitely looks cool from there. More walls again. Uh, we'll head over to the back. All the way to the back. This is where you can see the hotel, and it's blocked off, so it's basically 360 on the lower level, second level, and then 360 to the top of the seats. I like how this part looks down back here with the uh, uh, special lighting, I'll say. Mm -hmm. I'll just do like a flyby all the way up and see what it looks like. It really looks like a cool oh, um, major league park. Chris, what about say. dugouts? Dugouts. Okay, I'll check the dugouts in a second. But all the way up from the clouds, it looks like this. Very humongous, I've just realized. Uh, we'll go to the dugouts, because Dylan uh, told me about the dugouts. I completely forgot. Uh, and I spent like an hour on them. So we can walk to the dugouts here. <laughs> and here we have our special showers for the players. They have all their jerseys and such. And the little bats and chest. It's all lit up and stuff. And it's the same thing on the other one, too. I don't really need to show it. Uh, view from the field. It's nice all the way up. It's got the cool... I, I really like how the overhang and the brick, it just kind of looks good together. And that's about mm -hmm. it for my stadium. 
Uh, all the pictures I had were some of the best angles, so those were the ones that played at the beginning of the video. Uh, but yeah, that's it. So what you're going to do is at the end of both the videos, we're having a poll, and we'll see. Uh, like the If you go through pros and cons, this one's definitely size, but it lacks in the smaller things, like uh, the shops. It lacks in that kind of stuff, and that's where Dylan Stadium is strong at. Uh, obviously the huge size difference, but then again, mine's a major league because it's a minor league. And then little things like the views from certain seats, the designs, uh, mm -hmm. how accessible it is to get to places, stuff like that. So yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Uh, two weeks worth for one video. <laughs> but it's forever on Dylan's world, which is kind of saddening because he mm -hmm. could delete the game or something. I don't know, I, I took my pictures. That's whatever. Yeah, alright.